He's coming towards us. He should be asleep as... Okay, maybe we'll run a little bit just in case. I don't want to cop a hit from him. He should start running around in 15 seconds. We've just got to outrun him for 15 seconds. That's fine. That is okay. We can do that. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? CJ the Cheese DJ here. And we are back with another Primal Fear video for you guys today. And guys, after the horrible experience last episode, we came back. Well, we gave ourselves a little bit of a break. But we, because when you're playing in single player, it pretty much saves the world from the moment you hit exit to main menu. So we downloaded another mod called the Tracker Mod. Uh, we've used this mod in the past, like a Dino Tracker Mod. And this essentially showed us our body and uh, Astro's body. So we were able to manage to salvage it and get everything from those two corpses, thankfully. So we got majority of our gear back. We did not manage to get um, the Celestial Argy's body back though. So that was a damn shame, but we still managed to get most of our th stuff back, which is pretty good. So today, guys, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going after that Celestial Wyvern. Not Wyvern, sorry, what am I talking about? The Celestial Spino. Now, there is a Thylacolio. I don't know which one we should go after more so. I don't know which one would be better. So if we go Celestial here, you can see there's a Thyla and there's a Spino. Now, the Spinos are up here in the horrible place, whereas... All right, calm down, Rudolph. Whereas the Thylacolio is pretty much just next door to us. What is that? 48, 43. So we're going to go check out the Thylacolio and uh, see what he looks like. We're going to take Purple Haze out for a little bit of a test run once again. Oh, what is that? Is that just a manticore? Normal one? How much health does it have? 560. I don't want to risk putting Purple Haze up against that. Let's just uh, go see if we can find this Thylacolio and go from there. We've still got a Origin Bullet. And oh, what is going on over there with you, Mr. Rock Drake? Alpha 175. We've still got the Bullet and we still have the Kibble. And we actually had enough eggs to make one more Kibble. So we've got a total of four Kibbles. So we're going to take a look at who has the slightly better stats. And I think we'll decide from there because we have the potential to tame up both of them. I just kind of don't want to go tame up the... Um, Kind of don't want to go tame up the Spino, mainly because it's in that shadow area. And I'm not really feeling that shadow area, to be honest, at the moment. I can't remember how much I hit for. Only 2,000. Okay, yeah. Definitely not going to be getting into any fights with Purple Haze. So, yeah, that's the plan, guys. We're going to... Because we've got to refill our Celestials. We lost two Celestials last episode. If you guys haven't checked it out, be sure to check it out. It was heartbreaking. My my heart still aches for them, but yeah. So we've got to refill that pool of Celestials, especially the RG. We definitely need another RG, but right now we are actually going to find them. Because I have no idea where they are. And the thingy should be just over here. Is that a normal feather flight? Ice feather flight. And that's a Reaper Queen standard one. Alright, so this Thylacolio should be around here somewhere. What was it? 42? 47, I think it was. So we're not going down, we're going up. Alpha Allo. Alright, let's just take a little bit of a landing here. We look all clear. We're going to drop the transmitter down again. Alrighty, guys, we're here. I'm pretty sure... Oh, that must be him over there. I didn't see him on the way through. I didn't realize they spawned here. Where'd he go? Is he just over here? Yeah, there he is. That's him there. So, let's get a little bit of a closer look at him. 900,000 HP. Two kibble. He does have a breath attack as well. Is it worth taming him up, though? Or would it be better to go for the Spino? That was, what, 140? Let's go check out the Spino, because we've only got four kibble. And depending on how much Spino kibble we need... Uh, Celestial Kibble we need for the Spino. We'll go from there. Two Kibble isn't too bad. He should stay alive for quite a bit of time. So we're going to head over to the Shadow Area, which I know you guys really love. And uh, yeah, we'll see if we can find the 140 Spino over there. Maybe we'll take something stronger as well, because there is a level 21 that we can kill for some hide. So I think we might do that as well. So let's head back to base and we'll grab something stronger. Alrighty, guys. So we're here in the Shadow Area with our Celestial Aloe. I feel like it was only fitting. Let's go. Gamma 4, we're bumped up. Now, last I checked, the Spiners were sort of in the next block over, so we are going to have to get it over there. Just melt these guys right now. Oh, I love the Celestials. They're so satisfying to use. 
haven't tried the demonic, so we might have to try and tame a demonic. There are a couple of Mesopithecuses running around that we could potentially tame up if we really wanted to. Actually, we can't because we don't have the kibble at the moment. So we can't really tame them up, but I mean, I would like to play around with them a little bit. Let's try and find this 140 Fino. Oh, 140 Fino? 140 Spino first. Hopefully there's nothing too crazy in here. Just going to be careful. Our Aloe does have 2 million health. He's got some health potions with him as well. So he should be okay. It's just a matter of trying to find these bloody Aloe. We might even try and tame up some Feather Flights in here. Because I think we might need them for the Demonic Reaper Empress Queen. I think it's, that's her name. So, yeah. But what's this big do? Now, I don't know how well the the bleed does works on other dinos. Let's give it a try. Oh, damn. The gash works really well, okay. Uh, let's try and find these Spinos. Ooh, that might be one over there. Remember, we want the level 20 and the 140, because the level 21 we can kill. That's just a normal Spino. The level 21 we can just kill, grab the hide for um, saddles and whatnot. And then the stronger one is obviously the one we want to try and tame up. Might have to pop off the uh, whatchamacallit to try and track him down more specifically. Because, yeah, it looks like he's not one. Yeah, alright. Let's, uh, yeah, I think we might do it here. Seems pretty safe. Let's go. Chuck that down. Dino scan. And we want celestial. And Spino. Alright, 2773. So they're right next to each other. 2773. Where are we? We're not too far from them. 27. 2773. 27, 27. It's just, I can't. I hate when that happens because I can't see it. 2773. So are we going the right way? Or walk this way? No, we need to lower that. So it looks like they might be this way. 2773. Oh, there's a, a buffoon nameless. We should be able to kill this guy without any problems. Yeah, easy. 2773. Alright, so they're further down this way. We're pretty much. Is that them over there? Celestial Spino. Alright, let's come around this way so I can get a bit of a bit of a look. Here we go. Level 20, level 140. Looks like this actually has less health than Phyla. Let's get a little bit of a high ground on him. Yeah, it does. I've only got four kibble, I think. So we can't tame... I don't want to fight him. Can't tame that one up. So it looks like we're going to go for the Phyla. I will kill this one, though. To get that hide. 600. Is it worth kill? Do I kill the other one? It seems worse than the Thyla. I'm going to kill it. Because we can use the extra high kill to try and upgrade some saddles. I don't think he's that good. And he's not even going to attack us. Let's do that. Let's pop that off. Get powered up. And I'm going to try and mash him. Can I mash him? Let's go for a little run forward and we'll spin around and go like that. Oh yeah, you don't like that big idea. Alright. That's fine. I'm not too fast about killing it because, like I said, we can just tame up some other ones. And the Celestial Spinos didn't really look that powerful in comparison. So we're going to head back and tame up that Phyla if we can find it. And then I'm thinking we're going to corrupt it. If we can, because corrupting it is going to make it a lot stronger for us. And that'll work in our favor a lot better. Normal Manticore. So let's head back to where that Thyla was and try and team up. We've got enough kibble, he only needed two, and we're gonna do that. And yeah. Oh god. Alright, let's go and team up ourselves a Celestial Thyla now. Alrighty guys, and we're heading back to team up that Thyla. And look what's decided to show its face, an Apex Megapithecus. Oh, I'm gonna kill this guy, it's only level 15. I reckon we can take it. I'm going to pop that to get our health back up and to have a little bit of a bonus while we're fighting. I reckon we can take this guy. I'm going to see if we can use the bleed. Oh yeah, you can mash him. 
sweet. So that pretty much will help us deal a lot more damage over time. And yeah, he's not going to survive much longer. I was going to say we could tame him up, but he's only a little bit different. He's really not much of a point in doing so. Oh god, here comes the damage. So he's like not even doing enough damage for us to worry about it. Let's just finish him off. And he's dead. Look at that. Easy. Now the reason we're still killing bosses is because that boss essence can be used to tame up the other bosses. And killing one only grants you like 20 or so. Uh, you can see we've got 57 from, I think that's from killing another one as well. So, when you get to the higher ones, you need like 500 boss essence. That's what we're killing them for whenever we see them. Because, yeah, the boss essence is really good. And I'm pretty sure the bosses are probably one of the strongest tames we could probably get. Take a look at last episode and what happened there in regards to the freaking Apex Dodo Wyvern just melting our Celestial Argy and the Celestial uh, Wyvern as well. So, yeah, let's head back over here and uh, get this Thylacolio tamed up. Alrighty guys, we're back at the Thyla. There he is over there. What's he attacking? So this one's a 130 and it's actually got more torpor and whatnot and health than the Spino did. So I don't know what's really better. I'm going to chuck some melee damage in there. We're going to jump off real quick and see if we can stop. And we got him. Awesome. Let's jump on here. He's coming towards us. He should be asleep. As okay, maybe we'll run a little bit just in case. I don't want to cop a hit from him. He should start running around in 15 seconds. We've just got to outrun him for 15 seconds. That's fine. That is okay. We can do that. And is he asleep? He is asleep. Awesome. Okay, so he only needed two kibble. He's asleep. Is he playing dead? I don't know. That was weird. He still had time for the origin bullet. All right. Jump off him, and we need one, two. Oh yeah, look at that. 29 points in HP. Eight in melee damage. Are you serious? Eight. That is horrible. Let's cryo him up. We're going to get him back. Oh, we already had a cryo down here. We're going to get him back to base. I'm going to take him for a little spin. Oh, 14 points is a little bit better. 15k, so he's not too amazing. Maybe we'll corrupt him. Maybe. We'll see. We'll get back to base, see how he goes. He hasn't got any points leveled into him. Where What's our thing? You got 19 and 41 in that. So, let's head back to base and we'll take him for a little test drive and see what he can do. Alrighty, guys. Here we go. Chuck him out. Let's see. I, I kind of don't want to craft his saddle because it's expensive. Like, I'm going to say it's pretty expensive. Uh, we've got to learn the thing first. Uh, Thylo. Thylo. Never mind. Celestial. 1290 hide. That's a lot of hide. Oh, is it worth it? I guess so. Let's let's do it. Let's see how much he how much he can let's see what he can do. He's gotta be decent, right? Like he's gotta be decent. Let's jump on him. Find out what exactly he can do. There we go, mate. You got eight points in you. Alright. So he can jump. Obviously that's a given. Why are there so many pteranodons down there? So, he doesn't have a right click, doesn't have a secondary attack, he's got the breath attack, and that's it. Okay, so, 1.3 million health, that 900 health uh, damage, that's crap. Alright, so he hits how hard? 23,000, 23,000, how does his breath attack work? Is it like very long. Uh, it's going to be a tough one to tell. Can we corrupt him? I feel like we could corrupt him. I don't know if you can actually corrupt Celestial Stylers. Let's bump his health up. I'm going to get that up a little bit. I don't know. I don't know if he's really worth that much, to be honest. I don't know if the Spiner would have been stronger. Like... Spiner had less stats, I guess. Maybe it was just their torpor. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Let's try and corrupt him. I don't know if this is going to work. I think we'll stick with our aloe for now because he has the Nash. I uh, should be able to corrupt him. I'm pretty sure I've got the corrupted node learned. Corrupted. There it is. All right. Let's give it a shot. Oh, actually, we'll go. Do we have any XP potions? Wrong fee. XP. Ooh, uh, we'll grab three of those. 
because I'm not sure if his levels will reset when we corrupt him. So let's chuck those in. I already had two on me. All right, we'll go health to two. Uh, we'll go melee damage right up there. Uh, and we'll go a couple of points in stem. All right, we'll grab that, grab that, grab that, because I don't know. I don't even know if this is going to work. Let's find out. Do we just? Okay. He didn't corrupt. That's not a bad thing. Can we corrupt you? Would it be worth to corrupt you? Let's chuck one of those in. How much you get from that, mate? One level. Let's chuck all that back in. I'm going to go make another corrupted nodule. I want to see if we can corrupt the aloe. Uh, aloe. No. Corrupted. Make one of those. I should have plenty of clusters. How many do I have? I should have heaps in the fridge. Let's just double check because you need to constantly feed them uh, these things. 532. I got enough. I got plenty. You need to constantly feed them that to, um, to make sure they stay alive. Let's grab the saddle off. We'll grab all of that. Corrupted. Let's see. No, he doesn't corrupt either. Okay. At least we found out. So we know they don't corrupt. Let's grab that off him. Gonna grab all the gear. Uh, he can have his saddle back. What else do we have? Grab those. Yeah, we're gonna sort all through this and uh, we'll see what we'll do. I think we might wrap up the video around here now though, guys. Let's just grab all our gear back and we'll figure out what to do. Okay guys, so we're hitting for like 40k roughly with him, just with his attacks, like his normal thingy attacks. Now that's on par with what the RG was hitting for, I think, but the RG, the, the Thylacolio doesn't have that crazy good RG attack, like the RG does. So, what button is it? See. So I, I, I just, I don't know, I don't know if I can get behind the fire one. Like he's a good land mount, he's fast. I just... I don't know. I don't think I can... I don't think I see us using him too much. And, I mean, if it was able to be corrupted, sure. That would have been really cool, because they get stronger. But he's not able to be corrupted, so I think we'll just kind of leave him on the back burner for now. And, like, use him maybe as, like, a cannon fodder. Because he does still do decent DPS. So we can use him for bosses and stuff like that as an extra sort of slot filler. But, yeah, a little bit disappointed with him. But I guess that's our own fault. We should have probably tamed up the Spino, but we couldn't because we didn't have enough kibble. But uh, yeah, guys, that's going to wrap up the video for today. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe down below for more. But other than that, guys, I will catch you in the next one.